Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, everything between. I'm Hunter Crane, alongside with my colleague William Davies. We're going to be previewing the All Star game for you tonight. So, Davies, what's going on tonight? What are some big stories? I think the biggest storyline, and it's a wacky storyline, is Jeff Samarja uh, was elected as a National League player while he was a dominant pitcher for the Cubs and then was traded to the Athletics, which of course are in the American League. So it's never really happened before, but um, you know he's not allowed to pitch in the game. Um, he's not allowed to participate. It's still uncertain what he sh what he's going to do. Whether he's going to wear an Athletics jersey or a Cubs jersey or what dugout he's sitting in. I think he should just. I mean, he's part of an American League team. I think he should just perk, just wear an Athletics like jacket or pullover or something and and sit in the American League dugout. Um, last night at the home run derby, he was. He was not wearing the American League um, jersey like all the other guys. He was wearing athletics gear, right. which I thought was very interesting with that. So it'll be interesting what he does tonight, um, whether he'll be announced as a National League player or an American League player. Right. Also, another storyline for tonight is Clayton Kershaw it will not be starting the game over at Wayne Wright. And um, so how do you feel about that? It's an interesting topic there. You know, I think, you know, it's the All-Star game. I don't think it really matters um, who starts personally. Um, I think, but I think Clayton Kershaw is more deserving of the start. I guess he's just been absolutely silly this yeah. year. I mean, his stats are absurd. Uh, you know, he had that long um, scoreless inning streak. So, um, you know, Adam Wainwright is also just very deserving. Um, but I think it's interesting because he started Saturday. Right. So that that's a little interesting. Um, with that you were saying there might be a little home cook job there. With, yeah, uh, Mike Matheny on the bench. Coaching, but, so, you know, it's an interesting call. Um, you know, Kershaw, of course, throwing the no-hitter to me sticks out in my mind. Isn't yeah, it? he was a Hanley Ramirez. Yes, you know, exactly. There was um, a stat I saw that was, you know, there's some sabermetric stat that said that was the best pitching, or second best pitching performance to Kerry Woods' 20 strikeout game. So, that was interesting. Also, last topic, big story, is Derek Jeter. Finally, this will be his last All-Star game. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? What, what should they do to honor him tonight? I think, you know, Jeets is, you know, one of the biggest class acts in the game. Um, terrific player. And, you know, I think he deserves a nice ovation. I think he should, you know, go out on the field to end the game or, you know, sometime in the game. And then they, of course, pull him out in the, before the ending starts. So that will be a really good tribute. Get him, have him get a standing ovation. The words of... Camper Alex Hurry should get in one hour long standing ovation for the Minnesota, Minnesota crowd. He's that good. So um, thanks for joining in and stopping by for this 2014 baseball all-star game preview. I'm Will Davies alongside my partner Hunter McKernan. Have a good night, folks.